Hello and welcome to this episode of the Business Spotlight. Today we are joined by Penny from the platform. Hi Penny. Hello Mark, how are you? Yeah, great thanks. Thanks for joining us today. So thanks for being on this episode of the Business Spotlight. For those of you watching today and for the first time, we're going to find out a bit more about Penny, a bit more about her business. So the goal of the Business Spotlight is for us to learn a little bit more about your business, Penny. And for those watching us and joining us today, it's about them finding out a bit more about business, maybe inspiring them a little bit and to help them if they're thinking about getting on that business or entrepreneurship journey. So, Penny, if you could just kick things off for us and tell the viewers who you are, what you do and how long you've been doing it for. Yeah, no problem. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Penny Joyner Platt and I am the founder of the platform. And we are a business development agency that helps any business, whether you're a startup, mid-size, solopreneur, we help you level up and get visible on any platform. And we do that through PR, marketing and social media. Um, and we can basically do it for you if you have no inclination or time and just do not like social media or PR. Uh, we'll do the lot. Or if actually you'd like to find out how to do it for yourself, we actually do coach and guide people on how to be able to do their own PR and marketing. Wow, that's really cool. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> so, I mean, that's quite a niche way of doing things. So, I mean, what would you say makes you stand out from the many other businesses out there doing something similar? Um, I suppose for me, it's very much my background. Uh, I was lucky enough to not be a normal PR. Um, I started out working in the media, so I worked in radio and in TV, and I was trained at the Press Association, so the UK's national news agency. So I was a PR, sat on a news floor, right next to the journalists, the picture desk, the video desk, when video first launched for, for journalism. Um, and I learned from them what, what they want basically so I learned directly from a news floor exactly how to write a press release exactly what a journalist wants how to get them inspired to want to write your story over and above everyone else's whilst working with a client with brands that want that coverage so very much felt like the bridging the gap between the media and a client um, and PR does get a bit of a bad rap um because there are, you know, um, there are wrong ways to do things. There are wrong ways to approach a journalist and quite easy how you can annoy them. Um, but the great thing was, was I learned very early on in my career about what it takes to do good PR. And then I took that into the agency world. Um, I've worked with all different size businesses from, from small to big and from all different industries as well. So both consumer and corporate um and when I actually went out on my own which was basically January 2020 of course yeah. why not just before Covid um but it was a bit more of a forced situation at the time I actually um was on maternity leave and my, my first son was only four months old and I got made redundant um and I had a really bad experience with my last boss who I ran his agency for him I did everything looked after the team ran the ran the agency did all the finances and as soon as I told him I was pregnant he just did a 180 on me and just it was a very bad experience for me both mentally and and after years you know being over 15 years in the industry it was really tough um, and working yeah. in London so it gave me that push to go out on my own and when I went out on my own own I basically started looking after people who ran their own businesses locally to Hertfordshire and just the most amazing people really inspirational and I just loved that and that became my why because what I want to do is actually help people because I don't believe you should have to pay a fortune for PR and for promoting your business it's crazy and I do believe that what I want to do is pass on all that knowledge and all that experience that I had, because it's not easy to do PR. There are tricks, there are ways that you can get that story out there and, and make sure you cut above all those other press releases that are dropping in. And I just want to pass that on. Um, and what I found was as I started to work with these businesses of all different sizes, 
was their demands or their needs were very different. Um, and that's why originally it started out as platform PR. And then I evolved it um, last year. Uh, actually, no, it's 2023. It's, it's 2022 now. God, I keep forgetting we're in 2024. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so in August 2022, I rebranded to the platform um, because it's more about business development and about helping businesses level up in the different ways that they need it. And it was about helping anybody, no matter what industry they're in, understand who their audience is and where they are, what media are they consuming? Because it's all very different. And this myth that you have to be on everything and everywhere is, is, is rubbish, basically. Yeah. So I wanna kind of help somebody that's got a skill level. So for example, if they were a beautician, you know, they wanna focus on their skills, making sure their business is successful and they're offering the services their clients want not necessarily sat consistently on Instagram, consistently updating their website, you know. So I help them understand where their audience is, how they can reach them and ultimately make sales so that they're spending their time wisely um, and in the right way to make the money that they need to keep their businesses going and just save them that bit of time and, and energy really in doing it in the right way. So it just became this need to help support other businesses. So I think that's so a very long-winded way of answering your very simple no, question. That, that, of what what, <laughs> what sets you. me apart is, is that experience that I've got to pass it on and then allow somebody to flourish with that information. Yeah, wow, that's a wealth of knowledge and expertise and experience. So thank you so much for that, Penny. That is a great share. So thank you, genuinely. So What's the journey been like today? I mean, obviously you've mentioned some there, but just run through us, you know, how you started, why you started and, and where you are now with a business. Yeah, I mean, so as I say, it started back in 2020 and was very, for me, COVID wasn't a bad thing, actually, because, you know, my son was only young. Um, it meant that I got to kind of start slowly and, and learn about running the business. I had run agencies and I'd run divisions, but I'd never like run my own business and done my own taxes. So it was great to be able to take a bit of time yes. to learn it properly um, and start off with some really lovely clients. And then as I say, then understand my why. Yes. Um, I also really appreciate the power of partnerships. Um, so I very much tap into skills and knowledge around me of other businesses that can help support my offering. So for example, my best friend, uh, Tiggs Rice is a empowerment photographer. Uh, so we team up, in fact, there's probably not one job I've ever worked on that I've not got her involved in that, that campaign or, or that client because you know they all need to be visually seen on whatever platform. So it works quite nicely and, and we've been able to support each other. So over the last kind of, four years of, of growing the business it's been about listening it's been about absorbing what other people you know I'm very much like a sponge you can never stop learning um, and so as much as I'm imparting knowledge I like to absorb knowledge so I network a lot I think that's a really powerful way to promote yourself and your business so I and Hertfordshire is a great place for it like I can't you know, it's it's wonderful the amount of people. Every time I do a networking, I always meet some fabulous people who've set up some amazing businesses. It's very inspirational county. I do believe we're very lucky. Yes. So I'm very much about people, whether it's, you know, that connection you first make could lead to another connection. So, you know, I'm very much an in-person person. person um and and the business is is doing really well um I've got a wonderful set of retained clients that I look after and I I literally do all their PR marketing and social media for them and then I've got a lovely bunch of, of coaching clients that you know I help and they're all completely different businesses from one lady that does uh, treasure keepsakes which is anything from like baby clothes memorial clothes she'll turn them into a beautiful keepsake and I've got her through the coaching, national coverage, awards, which, you know, all in one year that she never would have done before. Um, and it's really rewarding. Um, and I've got on the retained client side, um, 
a wealth manager based in Hitchin, who they are infamous in uh, networking. In fact, we walked through Hitchin doing a photo shoot and everybody was just, oh, hi, hi, face Susie. You know, like they literally were so famous, like everybody, you know. So I'm just surrounded by, by a lot of amazing people and amazing businesses. So I just want to keep going down this trajectory of, of working with great inspirational people around the county so yeah I feel right. very blessed yeah no that's an amazing thank you again for, for that share that's amazing so what's the future hold I mean what's what's going to be the main challenges for you moving forwards into like 2024 and beyond so I think it's 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 my level up which is quite funny when I'm helping others level up it's about my next level up um I'm I'm currently working on a project with a, a big consumer client. It's going to be a big campaign, which I've I've not done big campaigns for a while, so I'm quite excited by that. Um, the fact that we're going to be you know focusing on national coverage and and everything. And again, it's a family run business, but it's got in the position that they're in um, within the marketplace. You know, they they have really loyal customers, so it's going to be a great story to tell. There's going to be multimedia involved in this campaign as well. So I'll be working across photography and videography and, and everything. So getting my hands back into campaign stuff, which will be exciting uh, and growing the coaching business. So I'm now well, I'm starting to get technical finally um, and I'm improving my customer experience. So it's about setting up automation and things like that now within the business so that as much as it's just me and my lovely social media manager, Joy, uh, who is fantastic. I actually got her from a scheme that the Hearts Uni did with Santander. Yep. Um, and it was about graduates and helping support graduates. And basically they matched the salary for two months if I took on a graduate. And that was back in August last year. And she's still with me because she's so Brilliant. fabulous. And so, yeah, so I see investing in joy more um investing in that talent passing on my knowledge to her so she can help grow and flourish herself um and growing the client base as well so yeah lots lots more to come and potentially a rebrand although i think my husband's gonna kill me <laughs> he's gonna say you only did it like 18 months ago i know get bored very easily but no it's just about fresh. Evolution. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah <laughs> brilliant that's fantastic. So, uh, wow, what story. So moving on to yourself then, Penny, I mean, as the business owner, what would you say has been the, the biggest lesson today? You know, one that really stands out for you that you'd like to share today? Gosh, that is a really good question. Um, it's funny. I, I actually asked this question on my own podcast as well. So I know everyone always goes, oh, I've got to think about that one. Um I think it's about knowing that you're not an island, that, you know, as much as you can be a solopreneur and you are the person in your business, don't feel like it has to, you know, be that way. Do be able to lean on people, do be able to share experiences and listen to others because everybody's had different experiences and there's a lot we can learn by just taking the time to listen, um, you know, so, I think, yeah, just remember that there's a lot of other solopreneurs out there and we're all happy to kind of help each other. So, yeah, don't feel like you've got to do it all on your own. Yeah, no, that's a great share. That is a great share. So, um, I mean, you know, you mentioned about your podcast there. And I think for me on this podcast, my one of my favourite questions to ask is... Um, if you were to go back in time, so we've got a, I don't know, a DeLorean, let's say we've got a DeLorean, back to the future, we've jumped in the DeLorean, we're going to go back in time, we're going to go back and we're going to visit an 18 year old Penny. So you get one piece of advice that you can give an 18 year old Penny, what would it be? It would be what you think your dream is right now is not necessarily where you're going to end up and that's okay. Wow. Because basically I originally I wanted to be a West End star and I went to stage school and came out of it, did some work and then didn't carry it through. So I think 
part of me was like, oh, I've let people down. I didn't do the dream that, you know, was what I was meant to do. But because of that, I ended up in media through people that I met. I ended up in radio. And then, as I say, I just went through this windy path to where I am now today. And I couldn't be happier. In fact, this is exactly where I was meant to be. And because of that route is how I met my husband as well. You know, is all the things led to this. So everything happens for a reason. You're not letting anybody down. Just keep keep being yourself and be true to yourself and authentic. Wow, that's really powerful. Thank you for that. That's a great share. Thanks, Penny. So what is it that really, really inspires you? You know, what is it that puts that passion, that fire in your belly every day, every week to do what you do? Oh, it's the, it's the people I'm surrounded by. They, they are exceptional. Like the, there's not one day where whether it's somebody that's a client that I'm working with that is just actually smashed that week for them in their business in their own right or it's you know my friends and partners that I work with just doing well and you know but even when they're not doing well is just the power of you know people around you um I'm inspired every single day you know even by my kids my two boys you know they're two and four but wow, they're just such characters. And, you know, it's 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 motivational to know that just these little young people are just exceptional in their own right. So, yeah, definitely the people around me, for sure. Yeah. Wow. That's a great share. And two and four, that's great ages as well. So, uh, yeah. No, I must be mad. <laughs> <laughs> All the fun's going to come now. All the fun's going to come oh, now. They're Ready, they're already like teenagers it's crazy I'm like how are you only just keeps getting four? better it's and better <laughs> fantastic so just to wrap things up then Petty so is there any sort of news that you want to share with our viewers or what's the best way for them if they want to find out more to get in touch with you so you can go to my uh, website which is the hyphen platform.com and it's platform with a double t because of my last name um and you can also see i'm on social media as well so very active on instagram and facebook uh, a little bit on tiktok uh which you'll see some funny videos um but yeah so i do do free consultation as well so if ever you've got just questions or anything you just kind of know that you need to do some form of pr and marketing and just maybe you want a bit of guidance, then yeah, I'm happy to always speak to anybody and see if I can help in any way or just pass on a bit of advice. That's fantastic. Well, Penny, it's been absolutely great to meet you today. Thank you so much for joining us on the Business Spotlight. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And thanks for our viewers today. Thanks for watching. And until next time, we'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.